Okay, to continue our discussions, we have cephalosporins. So, this one is almost similar to penicillins, but more stable to many bacterial beta lactamases and therefore have a broader spectrum of activity. Meaning, they, this antibiotic is able to resist the beta lactamase, uh, lactamases enzymes which are produced by the uh, bacteria. So, E. coli, Klebsiella, Klebsiella pneumoniae, or Klebsiella resistance to cephalosporins because of the hydrolysis process. Meaning, itong mga bacteria ng E. coli and Klebsiella, when cephalosporins are, uh, enters the uh, bacterial cells, they're going to hydrolyze the uh, cephalosporin structure. So, it's not also active against Listeria monocytogenes. So, beta lactam mechanism. So, we have antibacterial free cell wall synthesis. This one, uh, wala pang antibacterial. So, so, what will happen? So, the PBP or penicillin binding proteins, okay, uh, these are proteins which bind, I mean, in the uh, chain of the amino acids or the chain of the the carbohydrate group known as the N-acetylglucosamine and then the N-acetylneuramic acids because this uh, uh, structure or this uh, chain of the uh, molecules will undergo the uh, cross-link okay? or cross-link and leads to uh, production of this cell wall Okay, usually the cross-linking is between is the uh, located at the terminal of the alanine. Okay, and we have here the enzymes, the glucosyl transferase enzymes, which is responsible also for the cross-link uh, uh, activity of the uh, penicillin binding proteins. So the, the transglucosylase subunit of the protein which is also responsible for the uh, uh, production i mean as the synthesis i mean of the cell wall if there is what we call a beta lactam cephalosporins the monobactams okay the carbap uh, carbapenems okay so the alanine the alanine structural mimics the penicillin or beta lactam bind to transpeptidase active site okay so this one, once mayroon siyang natawag natin na the, the antibiotic that binds with the uh, transpeptidase active site, it inhibits already the penicillin binding proteins and the activity of the glucosyl transferase enzyme. So this one, the D-alanine, the NAG and NAM, okay, is also prevented, okay, and then uh, prevented to undergo the cross-link uh, uh, cross-link activity of the transpeptidase enzyme okay so it is inhibited by this antibacterial known as penicillin cephalosporins so they inhibit the penicillin binding proteins at the same time the glucosyl transferase enzymes so these enzymes are responsible for the cell walls cell wall synthesis so inhibition of this one or interruption of this one okay will block the uh, will inhibit, I mean, the cross-linking and cell wall synthesis. So, walang dito na tawag na itong cross-linking kagaya nito. Okay, usually the cross-linking here happen in the end, the, in the terminal end of the D-alanine compound. So, this one wala na. Here, meaning wala na siyang uh, synthesis ng cell wall because it is already been blocked by the beta-lactam antibiotic at the penicillin binding uh, protein site and they block also the glucosyl transferase enzyme which facilitates the um, cell wall synthesis okay so we have cephalosporins members so the first generation take note oral cephalexin cepradin and cepadroxyl usually cephalexin pwede may spell yung c-e-f-a-l-i-x-i-n okay usually and then cephalexin na ph pwede rin siya so parenterals you have cephalotin cephazulin for the second generation, we have it is a uh, first generation that's effective so gram positive only. For stop, for example, stop the box or use canon. Positive, negative, anaerobes not active against Junomonas erujuna, least commonly used. Okay, because of the uh, lessen yung kanyang uh, spectrum of action. 
So, oral, well, sepaclor, sepiroxime, prodrug, ciprozil. Actually, kasi sepiroxine acetyl, sepiroxime acetyl, yung ZG na brand sa una, is very uh, common na siya because due to the resistance and inak and ineffective siya against Judomonas species. So, parenteral, yung sepiroxime, can cross the blood-brain barrier. Sipositin, sipamizin, uh, sipotitan, sipamizin, and we have sipamandol. The third generation class, more active against gram-negative bacteria as Junomonas, resistance to beta-lactamase, less active against gram-positive and, and, anaerob, and, and, and anaerobic, I mean, or the anaerobes. Okay. Oral, we have sipixime, sipadudoxime, septinier, septitorin, septibutin, septitamet, fibroxyl, and parenteral web, sepotaxime, common yung sepotaxime, sepotriaxone, sepotazidine, sepoperazone. For fourth generation, resistance to beta-lactamase and parenteral. So, we have cipipine, cipirum, and sepozoporan. So, kung hindi talaga kaya, pwede yung fourth generation. Pip, increased activity against gram-positive than fourth generation. So, mostly parenteral, ito yung septobiprol and septa Rolin. So, mostly ang nagamit ito sa Philippines nasa fourth generation. Kung hindi kaya, Pip, okay. Cephalosporins used for treatment of meningitis, pneumonia, septicemia. Okay. So, some mechanisms and pharmacologic, uh, almost, pharmacologic action is almost the same as the penicillins. May cause allergic reactions and cross reactivity to penicillin. So, take note. Similar to penicillins in both spectrum antibacterial uh, activity. Cepadroxyl, usually this is used for the treatment of urinary tract infections in case of antibacterial resistance. So, magkaroon ng uh, antibacterial resistance, so pwede yung cepadroxyl and cepiroxime for the prophylactic of surgery. Usually, this is a very common uh, prescription of antibiotic that is being uh, ordered by the physicians. Ito yung cepiroxime, especially after surgery, that is prophylaxis for prevention. Resistance to inactivation of beta-lactamase and use in severe infections and other uh, ineffective. Okay? Septazidime. Wide range of activity against gram-negative, including yung Zyromonas aeruginosa, but is less active naman doon sa mga gram-positive. Used in meningitis, so usually CNS accessible and caused by gram-negative. So, antibiotic cephalosporins first generation. So, ito yung mga general formula niya. So, this is the R group. Dito, dito sila nagbabari sa R group. So, later on in the organic medicinals, we'll discuss again the structural activity relationship of the antibiotics. So, dito more na tayo sa effectivity, sa resistance. So, we will not really discuss the structure. It will be discussed sa inyo na uh, in or, uh, organic medicinals or that is your organic tree. First generation si palisporins, we have active against gram negative uh, gram positive cocci such as pneumococci strep staff so traditionally it is not active against the methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus strain kasi may mga strain yung uh, staphylococcus aureus in na MRSA okay so e mga traditional is commonly ito yung mga cefalexin so cefalexin subon wala nagawa ginagamit eh e coli we have klebsiella klebsiella pneumoniae Proteus mirabilis are often sensitive. So, clinical use. So, for surgical prophylaxis, take note. UTI, urinary tract infection, cellulitis, and also cannot be treat. Uh, we used to treat meningitis kasi medyo manako yung structure niya. It cannot pass through the blood-brain barrier. Alternative to penicillins and allergic individual. Next, we have only first generation parenteral cephalosporin still. General use is your cefazulin. Take note, so may peak level siya na 90 to 120 micrograms per ml. So that is peak level, yung pinakataas niya na level. IV dose for adult is 0.5 to 2 grams every 8 hours. Excretion is via kidney okay, or urinary. Dose adjustment must be made if there is a renal failure. Kung may renal failure class, automatically uh, prone yan sa toxicity. So kina or kidney toxicity or drugs. So kina i-adjust yung concentration or drugs. Next, second uh, generation cephalosporin, so cefaclor, spamandol, cefonicid, cefiroxime, ciprozil, uh, lora cover uh, bev, and then we have uh, ciporanidrir, cepositin, cepmitazole, and cepotetan. So usually, yung pinaka-common sa Philippines is cefaclor, 
you have sipo, uh, sipuroxime and then yung sipositin sipotitan also but mostly ito yung common si paclor take note ha sipuroxime sa Philippines sipositin and sipotitan okay spectrum of action class take note uh, effective against uh, active against organisms against covered by first generation cephalosporins so ano yung mga first generation cephalosporins so almost the same as ng second generation okay next uh, extended gram negative coverage beta lactamase producing strains so mga imopolis influenzae therapeutic use the UTI okay E. coli that is caused by E. coli so yung acute otitis media okay otitis media inflammation of the of course yun naman ito yung makikita yan sa uh, parts ng ears sinusitis gonococcal disease caused by organisms that is resist other agents so we have cipaclor ginagamit sa otitis media sinusitis so kung allergy sa ampicillin amoxicillin pwede yung cipaclor okay or seclor may mga brand yan eh ciprozil and loracarbabef we have uh, uh, loracarbabef I mean sorry administered twice daily but offer no important spectrum differences so, almost the same na yung spectrum of actions nila Cipositin, therapeutic use for mixed aerobic and anaerobic uh, infections such as intra-abdominal, dito sa abdominal, yung abdomen na, na infections. Okay. So usually infections ng uh, gastrointestinal, ganun, sa peritonitis. Cipotetan spectrum is similar but these agents can be given twice daily. We have cip uh, cipuroxime, ito yung pinaka-common, uh, administered for outpatients in community-acquired pneumonia. Third generation, penetrate the cerebral spinal fluid. So, pwede siyang ginagamit sa treatment ng meningitis. Okay? Uh, caused by the meningococci. Pneumococci. Okay? And hemoplus influenza, enteric gram-negative bazilli. Okay? Used to treat sepsis or bacterial sepsis unknown in origin. So, usually sa mga hospitals, di ba? Yung uh, hindi masyadong maganda yung sanit... Uh, uh, sanitations ng hospitals okay o ang ilang natawag natin na environment may go so usually magkaroon ng mga bacterial sepsis yan to treat fever or neutropenic immunocompromise uh, immunocompromised patients so kung lower na yung mga uh, immune immune ano niya immune uh, system niya so binibigyan niya ng third generations so empiric therapy for life treating infections with resistance to organisms okay so, CP5 approved treatment of UTI. So, uh, skin and skin structure infections, pneumonia, empiric use of febrile neutropenic patients. Okay. So, this one, I mean, mga diferensya yung neutropenic or sa mga urinals, uh, neuronal, uh, neuronal tissues. Okay. May mga, may mga problema yan. Has spectrum of activity similar to third generation agents but is more resistant to beta lactamase. So, adverse effects of palisporin. So, meaning common ito mga fever, maculopapular rash, okay, anaphylaxis, muletic anemia, nausea, vomiting, so for infections. So, kung hindi mo siya na, hindi siya na complete ang patient, so may, may tendency na makaroon ng resistance at the same time makaroon ng so for infections. And then, of course, it will cause uh, uh, toxicity or it is toxic to the nephron. Drug interactions, take note. Yung probinicid bawal i-combine with cephalosporins because pwede lang i-impair yung excretion process. So, kung i-impair yung excretion of cephalosporins, it will lead to drug toxicity. Kasi hindi siya maka... Hindi siya... Basta, after na nag-elicit o nag-exhibit, nag-elicit uh, nag ng response yung drug, after that one, di ba, ma-detach siya and then it will go to the uh, kidney for excretion process except septacinine. Aminoglycosides or loop diuretics may cause additive toxicity when given with cipalotin. Okay? So, may additive, dugang siya. So, that is 1 plus 1 equals 2. Okay? Antacids may reduce cipaclor extended release tablets, septinure and cipodoxime. Okay? May reduce extended release tablets. So, ang mga antacids. Okay? Because it uh, antacid uh, will interact I mean with the cephalor H2 antagonists or H2 blockers may produce may reduce plasma levels of 
cyphotodoxime and cipuroxime. So, kung mag, mag-reduce yung plasma level niya, may tendency na ma-reduce rin yung effect ng drug because of the uh, H2 antagonist. Iron supplements, it will reduce the septinear absorptions. So, 80%, 30% respectively. So, pwede pwede i-take yung septinear together with the uh, iron supplements. Next, vancomycin. So, not well absorbed orally. Exhibits peptidoglycan inhibits, I mean, peptidoglycan uh, formations. This is the layer that protects also the cells in peptidoglycan layer. Active against most gram-positive bacteria. So, IV treatment for septicemia or endocarditis caused by the methicillin, methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus strain. Kasi yung staphylococcus, there are a lot of strain that's na very resistant. Use for geodomembranous colitis or sulfur infection caused by Clostridium difficile produces toxin and damage the colon mucosa. So, yun ang, uh, ito yung mga Clostridium difficile which causes also, which causes, I mean, the damage or inflammation and damage also of the gastrointestinal tract. So, antibacterial medications that inhibit protein synthesis, so target ribosomes of bacteria. Why? Because ribosomes are responsible for protein synthesis. Aminoglycosides binds to 30S subunit causing it to distort malfunctions, blocks initiation and translation process. Yun ang, ang pinaka uh, importante na spectrum of action or pharmacologic action of aminoglycosides by uh, binding or inhib inhibiting the 30S subunit which is responsible for the uh, translation during protein synthesis. So, next, tetracyclines binds to, uh, bind, I mean, to 30S subunit blocking the attachment of transfer RNA. Kasi sa transfer RNA class, ito yung responsible, di ba, during the translation process or the transfer of the uh, genetic material. So, kung i-block siya, so pwede magkaroon ng inataw natin na inhibition of protein synthesis. Macrolides binds with 50S and prevents uh, protein synthesis from continuing or continuity. So, 50S class, yan yung tawag natin na involved in the series of uh, protein synthesis of the bacterial cells. So, kailangan i-block or inhibit siya ng mga macrolides. So, aminoglycosides, take note, uh, effective against gram-negative and gram-positive or some gram-positive bacteria. Okay? They have a narrow therapeutic index, very potentially toxic. When say, narrow therapeutic index class, meaning yung mataas masyado yung uh, therapeutic activity niya which will uh, reach the minimum toxic concentration the MTC remember the MTC so kung magsubra magabot na sa class that is already uh, toxic okay most important adverse effects okay uh, usually ito yung uh, eight cranial uh, nerve Auto, auto toxicity and kidney damage auto toxicity doon within the toxicity within the tissues okay next uh, resistance uh, several mechanisms in activation of drug by acetylation process or by adenylation process okay or when say adenylation process, usually ito yung adenylation is the process wherein it produces adenyl cyclase enzyme. Or uh, envelope to prevent drug access and ito yung uh, natawag natin na uh, aminoglycosides. A aminoglycosides, the meaning yan ha. Uh, the, the binding site of 30S subunit streptomycin only. So resistance, usually uh, take note. There is a problem already in the uh, uh, penetration and then uh, accessibility of a drug by uh, preventing, I mean, the binding and then the uh, production, I mean, of the envelope of the uh, bacterial cells. So, aminoglycoside, we have gentamicin used for acute life threatening uh, gram negative infections so synergism with penicillin and vancomycin and combinations combo na tawag yung combinations yan combinations so synergism synergistic effect so meaning kung ihatag siya gina enhance yung effect ng penicillins and vancomycin 
amikisen used for bacterial that are uh, gentamicin resistant, nitilmicin less toxic than gentamicin. So neomycin too toxic for parenteral use, used for typically skin infections orally for sterilizing bowel before surgery. Mga mga ganun eh. You sterilize the bowel you have before surgery, ginagamitan niya ng neomycin. Streptomycin again, uh, is effective against mycobacterium tuberculosis but because of its autotoxicity, ripampicin will going, uh, replaces the streptomycin. So, ripampicin, resistance to develop quickly along. So, with TB, with, with tuberculosis combined with isoniazid, with tuberculosis treatment combined with iso, itambutol, pyrazinamide, okay, for the first two months of treatment followed by four months with ripampicin and isoniazid. So, yan ang combination. Usually, injectables yung streptomycin in the treatment of mycobacterium tuberculosis. Okay, usually, ito yung naga uh, increase ng magnitude ng effect ng other my, anti -bacteri anti uh, mycobacterial bacteria or anti-TB drugs. So, ito yung streptomycin. Naka ano yan plus injection ng paghatag. Okay? So, we have here macrolides, so very safe drugs, usually given orally. So, yung mga example niya, erythromycin, claritromycin. So, it's very effective against uh, gram-negative bacteria and alternative to penicillin-sensitive patients, especially in infections caused by strep, staph, pneumococci, and clostridium or clostridia. Usually, it, it, it does not really cro uh, cross the blood-brain barrier because of its high molecular weight so it is not used in the treatment of meningitis next resistance occur in plasmid controlled of the receptors okay, on the PTS sub unit erythromycin high doses may cause nausea and vomiting so less so with claritomycin and acetromycin so acetromycin is very, very long yung half life niya that is almost approximately 4 to 60, 60 hours imagine so, more than 24, uh, 24 hours or more than one day. Okay, or two days pa siya, di ba? Several dose is as effective in treating chlamydial, non-specific urethritis, and then yung mga tetracycline administration for seven days. So, tetracycline class, ito na yung, uh, ano, uh, uh, very, kung uh, patawag, obsolete drug na siya, kasi wala nang tetracycline ngayon, okay, because of the uh, resistance na naman. So, broad spectrum, pwede sa different uh, class of bacteria. So, penetrate microorganisms well. So, sensitive organisms accumulate it through partly passive diffusion process, partly through active transport. So, dalawa yung uh, mechanism, uh, mechanism uh, transport mechanism ng absorption of tetracycline. Sandaan nyo, by passive diffusion and active transport. Resistance or, of organisms develop if flux pump and do not accumulate the drug. Usually, if flux pump, ito yung nag pump ng drug from inside to outside of the bacterial cells. Okay? So, genes for tetracycline resistance transmitted by plasmids. Ito yung natawag natin na genetic uh, resistance of the bacteria. Closely associated with those of other drugs to which the organisms will also be resistant. Example, so, polonamides, amnoglycosides, chloramphenicol. Okay, tetracyclines binds to calcium in growing bones and teeth can discolor the teeth. That is why it is um, this uh, ba uh, it is already stopped or discontinued in the market already. So should be avoided in children below eight years old. 